redevelopment of Safdarjang railway station, launching of air concourse. Safdarjang railway station in Delhi will undergo a transformative redevelopment. Aircon International, in collaboration with RLDA, will lead the upgrade, introducing a modern air concourse to enhance passenger movement and operational efficiency. There are eight railway lines out of which, six of which are already electrified. The work shall start with foundation of air concourse between the running tracks. Excavation for the foundation will be carried out only after the completion of second piling all around. Second piling will be executed around the foundation to prevent any collapse due to excavation and to safeguard the running tracks along the platforms. Then concrete is poured into the reinforcement cage of the concourse foundation. The base plates shall be fixed to the pedestals using anchor bolts. First, cranes will host tubular members. For the C1 tree columns, each piece gently guided into position atop its foundation. Technicians will lock these columns in place with high-strength bolts and support them on temporary trestles. Almost simultaneously, the C3 columns will rise in the same manner, each tube precisely aligned before bolting. Now the portal towards the Chris side shall be erected using cranes under traffic block. Once the tree columns stand secure, the first eye girders will arrive. The cranes will lift and balance each girder, moving in perfect sync to lower it and fix. Girders shall be held momentarily aloft while bolting both ends to the exact torque, verifying rigidity before the cranes releases the girders. Railway traffic come power block 
shall be taken to safely cross the tracks, with the help of provisional pathways of compacted gunny bags that shall be removed as soon as the crane reaches its location for further launching of trees on platform 2 and 3. On platforms 2 and 3, B1 columns will be lifted and set over their foundation followed immediately by B3 columns. With three columns in position, left side girders over tracks 5 and 6 will be hoisted. Each girder spliced and bolted to both columns for unyielding strength. The same chronology will unfold on the right side in the next traffic come power block. Now the girders for the foot over bridge shall be erected. The required camber shall be provided in girders at ground and spliced before lifting. Girders then be placed into position along the platform 1 and 2. A 6R traffic block will allow the cranes to place right side eye girders across tracks 1 through 4 supported at bearings towards station building and tree columns with cross frames stitching the structure together. Mirror image girders on the left side will follow immediately. Portals will spring into view next, with both left and right assemblies lowered into place during block. Valley girders will be lifted in three parts and complete the skeletal framework next, locking the primary superstructure into a stable, load-bearing network. Cranes will shift again, maintaining strict clearance from station dimensions, and the B2 tree columns will be erected exactly as before. The delicate dance of lifting, splicing, and bolting eye girders will repeat in this zone, extending the canopy further.
deck sheet shall be provided on both the FOBs and precast concrete segments will then be lifted and aligned along each girder run. As morning light touches the steel, a fresh block window will open. For casting the RCC deck slab, concrete will flow, settle and cure before trains resume beneath. With the deck in place, the concourse will gain its crown. Roof rafters will ascend one by one, each rafter lifted by crane and fastened to the periphery girders. The final C2 column will be positioned and its surrounding girders will lock into place. Framing the last spans over tracks 5 and 6. Remaining precast panels will fill the gaps and a final deck pour during a block will seal the floor. In the closing hours, last roof rafters and outer rafters will complete the canopy piece by piece until the steel and concrete skeleton becomes a unified shell. Now McAloy bars shall be erected, completing the final connection between the roof and the deck slab. Finally, the roof covering shall be placed to give the finishing touch to the, this modern architecture. At day's end, Safdarjang's new air concourse will stand clear and strong, a testament to careful planning, synchronized execution, and unerring precision in modern railway architecture. <laughs>